Hi, my name is Jennifer, and in this video, we're going to work through some examples where you have to use the orders of operation. So grab a pencil and some paper and work through these examples with me. Before we start the examples, I'm going to first teach you an acronym where we're going to use to solve these problems. If you look above here, we have the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We're going to use the first letters in each of these words to help us remember the order that the operations are to be performed. So the first word, please, starts with a P. And that's going to stand for the word parentheses. So when we solve our problems, if we have parentheses in a problem, it's important that we work through our parentheses first. Next, the E stands for exponent. So if we have um, any exponents after we've worked our parentheses, we'll work those next. M stands for multiply. The D in dear stands for divide. A in ant stands for add. And the S in Sally stands for subtract. So this is the order that we're going to work through these problems. Um, now it's important that you also know down here towards the bottom, if we have um, multiplication or division left, we're actually going to work these left to right. If these are the final two operations, And the same with adding and subtracting. If we're just left with addition and subtraction in our problem, we're also going to work these left to right as well. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and make sure you have this list of the operations in order before we continue. OK, we're ready to try our first example using the orders of operation. We have nine minus 12 plus 8. The only two operations in this problem is the subtraction and addition. Now because those are the only two left, we're going to actually work this problem left to right. So 9 minus 12 is a negative 3. Negative 3 plus 8 is a 5. So the final answer to this problem is positive 5. OK, take a look at this problem. We have 16 minus 5 divided by 3 minus 5. Notice each part um, on either side of the division sign is in a set of parentheses. So we're going to work the problem inside the parentheses first. 16 minus 5 is 11, and 3 minus 5 is negative 2. We'll put our division sign back in the middle. Now, since we're not working with calculators, the only way we can um, simplify this, 11 divided by negative 2, is to write it in a fraction form. So we'll have 11 over 2, and that negative sign from the 2, we'll just put that out front, making the entire fraction a negative, because a positive 11 divided by a negative 2 makes the whole problem, or the whole value, negative. So for this answer, we'll leave it as negative 11 over 2. Okay, let's take a look at another example. We have 127 minus 13 plus 4 all divided by negative 10. Now I want you to point out for this example, we have two sets of parentheses. We have our interior parentheses, and then we have our exterior parentheses, which are these brackets. 
We'll first work the interior and then we'll work the brackets. So first we'll have 127 minus 13 plus 4 is 17. All of that divided by 10. Now we'll work through the brackets. 127 minus 17 is 110 divided by 10 equals 11. So for this problem, the final answer is 11. Okay, let's do one more example together. We have negative 6 quantity squared minus 48 divided by 4 squared. The first thing we'll do is we'll actually work through the um, parentheses and the exponents on the same step. Over here we have negative 6 squared, which negative 6 times negative 6 is 36 minus Right here we have 48 divided by 4 squared, which 4 squared is 16. So we actually, I'll put it right here, we have 48 divided by 16. Now 48 divided by 16 is 3. So this entire set of parentheses simplifies down to 3. Next we have 36 minus 3, which is 3. So your final answer for this problem is 3. If you have any other questions about this topic, please contact your professor or stop by the Math Tutoring Lab or watch this video again.